asking really important of you. Good morning. We're going live in about four minutes. Um, this is yoga and core. So welcome if you're joining me. Just need your mat and some water. That's it. So we'll get started in about four minutes. I have some music in the background, but if you want your own music, go for it. Good morning, happy Monday. We're gonna get started in about two, three minutes. Um, do some yoga and core. So welcome if you're just joining me. Um, just need your mat and some water if you want water. And we're gonna infuse uh, the yoga and the core together. So happy Monday. Good morning everyone, happy Monday. We're gonna get started in a few minutes um, doing power yoga and core today. So it's a kind of a yucky Monday, so we'll get our, so our bodies moving and hopefully we'll feel better. We'll probably go about an hour today, hopefully uh, you have that time to give to yourself. And I have music playing in the background. If you want your own music, you can mute me and, or I guess you can't mute me because then you won't know what I'm saying. <laughs> But you can, I keep it low, so in case you want to play your own music. So I am going to mute everybody on Zoom in about a minute. So if you need anything, grab it, and we'll get started in about a minute. Good morning, welcome, power yoga this morning, Monday. Um, <clears throat> if you, again, if you want your own music and turn, I can I keep mine low so you can play your own music. We're gonna get infused uh, power yoga and core together. So let's get started in child's pose. So your knees are the width of your mat, your toes, your toes to touch. let's start our breath start with the inhale and the exhale trying to increase that breath pushing your hips down towards the heels of your feet 
We're gonna do some dynamic movements today along with the core. So take your right hand over to the edge of your mat and then stack your left hand on top. And then press your forehead towards your mat. And now press your left hip down towards your left heel. Just a little bit deeper. Get a great stretch on the left side. And walk the left hand over, stack the right hand on top. And now do the same thing on this side. Allow the forehead to drop. Press the right hip down towards the right heel of your foot. And then come back to center. Take three deep breaths in your child's pose. Press your mat away from you with your hands and press your hips down towards the heels of your feet. And when you're ready, come to your first down dog. Pedal those feet out, right heel, left heel going down towards the earth. And let's make three dynamic movements here. So come up onto the tips of your toes, press the heels down. So inhale, lift up, exhale, draw down. Two more times. Go at your own breath. One more time. After you drop your heels down, hold. If your heels touch, walk your feet a little further apart. You should feel a great stretch in the back of your legs from your hamstrings to your calves. And then walk your feet together. Take your right leg straight back. Bend your knee. Open your hip. Draw your right shoulder down. Keep that breath moving. And now straighten out your right leg. Bring your right knee to your nose and hold for three. Good. Take it straight back. Do it again. So as you bring the knee in, you're pulling the shoulders right over top of the wrist and holding. Feel this in your shoulders and your core. Take it straight back. This time, slowly bring that right leg all the way through. So as you take your foot through, take your gaze through, look forward. Get a great stretch. So I'm scooting my left leg back. Get that left heel right over top of the ball of your left foot. And then on your next exhale, rock back. Bring that left leg forward, fold forward. Bring your hands to your shins, take a half lift. Lengthen that spine and with a half lift, hands here, lengthening your arms. You wanna reach the top of your head forward and then fold forward. Rise up, reach up towards your ceiling and then exhale, fold forward. And let's go backwards here, take that half lift again Ground your hands in, walk your left leg back to that lunge. Look forward, get a great stretch on that left hip flexor. Ground your hands in, lift that right leg up, take it all the way back and lower it down. Left, legs will, left leg will go straight back. And now bring your left knee to your nose, <clears throat> round your back out, your shoulders over top of your wrist. Engage the core so I come up higher on my right foot and then take that left leg straight back. Do that again, step that knee in to your nose, core work, shoulder work, take it back. This time you're gonna bring it all the way through. Now take your gaze forward, but use your core to step that left foot through. Right leg will scoop back. Your right heel will be over top of the ball of your right foot, look forward. And now rock back. And then on your next exhale, step that right leg forward, half lift, fold, and now rise up. And now going backwards again, you're gonna fold forward, bring your hands to your shins, half lift, ground your hands in, walk that right leg all the way back into your lunge. Get a great stretch on that right hip flexor, lift that left foot up off the floor, take it all the way back. Lower it down into down dog. Connect with your breath. And now look to your hands, step to the front of your mat. Take a half lift, 
fold, and now rise up, reach up, maybe reach back this time, fold forward, half lift, ground your hands in, walk back, hold your high plank. So as we go through this, we vinyasa through, you can choose to drop to your knees. You can stay on your tips of your toes. You can do one chaturanga. You can do two. Add or subtract whatever you want. So we're going to lower down into chaturanga. Your elbows stick to your rib cage. And now you're going to push, lift that chest up, flatten your feet, and now go back to down dog. So I'm going to cue that today. You do what works for you. Maybe you add a chaturanga in. Last week we did chaturanga, up dog, chaturanga. You decide, look to your hands, step or float, half lift, fold, rise up, fold forward, half lift, into your high plank, you can walk back or float back, do what works for you, chaturanga, up dog, down dog, one more sun in. One more. Look to your hands, step or float. Half lift, fold, rise up. Fold forward. Half lift, into your high plank. Walk, float, whatever you need. Chaturanga. Up dog. Down dog. Hold here. We're gonna move on to Sun B. I'm gonna do it a little differently today. But before we do, let's do a little core. So high plank. Hold that high plank. And now lift that right foot off the floor. Hold for four. Breathe, stay really super strong in your plank. If you're dropping to your left knee, keep that engagement in that core. Drop that right foot down, left foot lifts. Look forward, don't look back. Stay with me, infusing some core in this today. Drop that left foot, push back, down dog. Look to your hands, step or float to the front of your mat. Half lift, fold, queen chair, land in. First chair. So your knees come together, pull your belly button to your spine, reach your arms forward. So maybe you're here today. Maybe you go a little bit lower with your breath. Honor what you're feeling right now. So feel this. Can you sit a little bit lower? Can you tuck that belly button to your spine? Take one more deep breath. And now release, fold forward. Half lift. High plank. Walk or float. Chaturanga. Upward facing dog to downward facing dog. Take that right leg straight back. Bring your right knee into your nose, into your chest. Step it through, crescent lunge first. Spin that back foot around, warrior one. Hold that, two times dynamic, straighten that right leg. And then bend that right knee again. One more time. This time you're gonna reach up, maybe reach back to the back of the room. Hold here. And then release. Vinyasa through. Take that left leg straight back. Bring your knee to your nose. Bring your knee into your chest. Step it through. Crescent lunge, hold crescent lunge. Hold that. Spin that right foot around, ground that right foot in, warrior one. Now straighten that left leg, get back in one more time. This time reach up, reach back to the back of the room for three. And then release vinyasa back to your down dog. So we're gonna put that together. We're gonna get into crescent lunge and then open up to warrior one. We're gonna flow that a little different today. 
So look to your hands. This time maybe you float to the front of your mat. Half lift, fold, queen chair, land in. So find stillness here. Get in an athletic posture and hold that. And then use your breath to increase the difficulty of the posture. Maybe that's reaching up more. Maybe that's sitting back under the heels of your feet. One more breath. And then release, fold forward. Half lift into your high plank. Vinyasa, right leg steps back. Knead your nose into your chest. Crescent lunge. Open up to warrior one. And then release. Vinyasa through. Left leg will go back, knee to your nose, knee into your chest, step it through, crescent lunge, warrior one, and then release. One more time each side. So vinyasa through, right leg will go straight back, knee to your nose, knee into your chest, crescent lunge, into warrior one, and then release, vinyasa through. Create your own vinyasa. Take your left leg straight back, knee to your nose first, knee into your chest, crescent lunge, into warrior one, and then release, vinyasa back to your down dog. Hopefully you're getting warmed up. Hopefully, hopefully. Press your chest towards your toes. And then come out to a high plank. This time go to a forearm plank, infusing that core. So next thing we'll do is we'll add in warrior two. It'll be crescent lunge, warrior one, warrior two, and then vinyasa through. So holding here, staying steady for four. Use your breath. Shoulders right over top of your elbows. You're on your tips of your toes. Come to a high plank. Use your core to get there. Down dog. Look to your hands, step or float. Half lift, fold, rise up to queen chair. This time, See if you can reach your hands back. Roll the shoulders back and down, palms face down. Pull the belly button to your spine. Lower your hips to the floor. And then release, fold forward. Half lift into your high plank. Vinyasa through. Step your right leg back. Knee to your nose, <clears throat> knee into your chest. Crescent lunge, warrior one, warrior two. It's a little different today. Press that right thigh parallel to the earth. Look over your right middle finger. Your left hand is parallel, your left arm is parallel to the earth and hold. Maybe start to bend the right knee a little bit more to get deeper in. Let your left hand just slide down your left leg. Reverse your right hand and hold. And then release. Vinyasa through to the left side. Same thing on the left side. Left leg goes straight back. Knee to your nose. Into your chest. Crescent lunge. Open up warrior one to warrior two. So same thing on this side. Take your gaze to your middle finger. Right hand is parallel to the earth. Hold that, feel the left thigh start to turn on a little bit more, a little more fire in that leg. Let the right arm just slide down that right leg. Flip your left hand, reverse and hold. See if you can look straight up. Reach straight up, maybe another inch higher. 
and then release. Vinyasa through, back to your down dog. So let's go to our high plank, infusing that core four times on the right and then four times on the left. So you're gonna go right forearm, left forearm, right hand goes back up, right hand goes down, then back up, right forearm, left forearm, back up. One more time, hold the high plank. Hold, get connected, get your forearm, get those hips up. Now the opposite side, left to right, left to right, left. Good, one more, two more times, sorry, two more, two more. One more, one more. We've got this, we've got this. Down dog. Infusing that core today. Getting a little extra strength in the shoulders and the core. So look to your hands. Step or float to the front of your mat. Half lift. Fold. Queen chair, land in. We're gonna put all of those things together. Crescent lunge, warrior one, warrior two into a flow. Slowly reach your hands. So your fingertips are reaching the back of the room. And do what you can here. If you need to come up, if that bothers your back, come up. If you need to sit lower, if you're saying to yourself, I gotta push it a little bit more today, sit a little lower. Release, fold forward. Half lift into your high plank, chaturanga, up dog, down dog, right leg steps all the way back, knee to your nose, knee into your chest, step it through, crescent lunge to warrior one, to warrior two, flip your right hand, reverse, and then release, vinyasa through. We're gonna do it again, left leg goes back, knee to your nose, knee into your chest, step it through, crescent lunge to warrior one, to warrior two, flip your left hand, reverse. One more time on each side. Step that right leg back, knee to your nose, knee into your chest, Step it through, crescent lunge, to warrior one, to warrior two. Flip your right hand, reverse, and release. Make sure you're breathing. You can add or subtract anything you want. Make this yours. Left leg goes back. Bring your left knee to your nose, to your chest. Step it through, crescent lunge, to warrior one. To warrior two, flip your left hand, reverse, and then release back to your down dog. Big toes to touch, right leg goes straight back, bend your knee, open your hip. Maybe you don't flip over today, maybe you stay right here with me. Maybe you flip over, what feels right? Do what feels right. Flip on back, right leg goes straight back, Right knee, right tricep. Now take it to the left tricep, and I'll keep going back and forth, right to left, right. And then as you do that, look to your right hand, look to your left hand, four, three, two, shoot that right leg over to the left. Take that left arm off, off the ground. Spin your feet around to the back of the room. Open up your heart. Come back to a high plank with that right leg lifted and hold. Little core infused with our yoga. Lower your right leg down, hold your high plank, fold. Left hand comes to the center, turn to your right for a side plank. Now lift that right hip higher. Use the left obliques to lift that right hip. Start to reach that top arm forward. You might have to drop to your left knee. Do that if you need to. Take your top arm around you. Look up and lift up. Chaturanga, upward facing dog. 
downward facing dog, left leg goes straight back, bend your knee, open your hip, maybe you flip over on this side, maybe you don't. So you come to yoga and you figure out what does your body need, who cares what anyone else is doing, and this is the great thing about doing this in our home, we do whatever work works for us. Now straighten that left leg, left knee, left tricep, float it over to the right tricep. And now you're going to go back and forth, trying to keep that knee up for like a little windshield wiper. You're looking at your opposite hand. One more on each side. Take that left leg over to the right. Right arm reaches. Spin it around and then lift up. And now come back. High plank with that left foot lifted. Engage that core. So honor what your body is telling you you need today. Lower that left foot. Right hand comes to the center. Turn to your left. Sometimes we need more and we just don't have it. Do what works. Reach that top arm forward. Especially now. If you have an hour to give yourself to move, listen to what your body is telling you. And then high plank, chaturanga, upward facing dog to downward facing dog. So some of you might be adding in extra chaturangas. Some of you might be eliminating those. Do what works for you. Big toes to touch. Take your right leg straight back. Step your right leg through. Crescent lunge. So as you rise up, palms are going to face one another. Your left leg is straight. Start to bend that right knee or scoot that right foot forward so your right thigh can go parallel to the earth. Take those arms overhead, and then I want you to go into a double lunge. So you're going to tuck that left hip under, drop that left knee down towards the floor, and then straighten that left leg. Do that three more times. Drop in, and then straighten. Two more. Drop in, and then straighten. One more, drop in, hold here, hold here for three. Straighten that left leg, hands to your heart, twist over to your right. Try to get your left elbow to the outside of that right thigh. And then press your prayer together. Lift your chest away from your thigh. Some of you will split your hands. Your left hand will go outside your right leg. Your right arm will reach. If you want to bind, bind. Three more breaths. If you're on two feet, straighten that left leg. Lift the heart. Come back up to your crescent lunge. Use your legs, strong legs. Take a little back bend. And then release. Vinyasa through. We're going to do that on the left side. Big toes to touch. Left leg will go straight back, step it through, crescent lunge. So take a moment, get into your lunge first. How deep you go is up to you. So if you can bend that left knee so it's over top of your left ankle, left thigh parallel to the floor, pull your belly button to your spine and your right leg is long. Drop the right knee a couple inches away from the earth, and then straighten. It's going to feel different on this side. Three more times. So use your breath. Two more. Drop that right knee down, and then straighten that right leg. One more time. Drop it down and hold, hold, hold. Strong. Straighten that right leg. Hands to your heart. Now you're going to twist it over to the left. Left, right arm comes to the outside of the left leg and then lift your heart. Straighten that right leg. Woo! Maybe you split the hands, right arm outside that left leg. Maybe not. Maybe you just want to wring out your torso. Try to spread your toes wide on your left foot. Good. Awesome. 
Take two more breaths in case you're binding. Go for it. Go, go, go. Straighten that right leg if you're staying on two feet. And then use both feet, super strong. Lift back up. Ha. Ah. Maybe a little back bend. And then release. Vinyasa through. Take two more breaths. You're back in your down dog. Feel your breath. You've done about 30 minutes. Decide whether you need to step up your intensity or, you're or if you're just where you want to be. Big toes to touch, right leg goes straight back. Right knee to the outside of the right hand. Here's some of our core again. Use your core, lift that right foot up, hold it there for one breath, then take it straight back. One more time, right leg to the outside of the right hand, hold. For one breath, lift the right foot off the floor, but keep it as close to your right hand as you can. Use your core and then take it straight back, lower it down. Left leg goes straight back, left, knee, left foot to the outside of the left hand. And again, try to keep it as close to your left. You might not be able to lift the foot off the floor. It might be hard, but try, use that core. This is hard. Take it straight back. Left foot to the outside of the left hand again. Hold. Look at that left hand. Pull your belly button to your spine. Hold for one breath. Take it back. Lower it down. Look to your hand. Step or float to the front of your mat. Half lift. Hold. Queen chair. Big toes to touch. Heels are slightly apart. Just holding that queen chair for a breath. Bring your hands to your heart, twist over to your right. Left elbow to the outside of your right thigh, and then lift your chest away from your thighs. Split your hands, bind, do what works for you. Maybe you stay here with me, and lift your heart for three. Lower your hips for two. And now bring those arms forward, drop your chest to your thighs, hold here, Look at your toes, shift your weight back onto the heels of the feet, lift your arms another inch higher, and then release, fold forward. Separate those feet, take your peace sign fingers, grab your big toes, elbows are wide, and fold forward. Woo! Hopefully you're feeling better already. Let the chin go into the chest. As soon as you draw that chin up into your, in towards your chest and your, your throat, you can feel a little better stretch along your spine. And then release. Deep squat, crow, headstand, handstand, whatever you wanna do. So if you're going into crow, remember, you're trying to tuck those knees. And most of these postures, because we are balancing ourselves on our arms, has a little bit of that fear in it. So just do what works for you. If you're gonna float it back, lean forward slightly, shift those hips up, and then kick it back into a high plank. Come back to your down dog. And now a little bit more dynamic than we did the first time. So you're gonna hop both feet to the outsides of your hands. And it's a plyometric. Let's do eight times. So bend your knees, hop out, hop back. Try not to make any noise. Soft landing. Get your feet as close to your hands as you can. Four more. Heart rate might go up. One more. Down dog. Look to your hands. Step or float to the front of your mat. Half lift. Fold. Queen chair. Big toes to touch. Sit down in that chair. 
pull the belly button to the spine. Lower yourself down with your breath. Then hands to heart, twist to your left. Your heart rate might still be up from those plyo jumps. Lift your chest away from your thighs. And then think about it. Can you lower the hips as you lift the heart? So you want to have the heart higher than your hips. So try not to lean forward, so lift the head up higher. Everything will come with it. If you're gonna split the hands or bind, go. Try to smile for three. Good. And two. One more breath. Bring those arms forward again. Yes, 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 we gotta do it, we gotta do it. I know it's hard, it's hard. Your legs should be burning. Look down at your 10 toes, but you, we can do hard things. Come on, come on. And then release, fold forward. We are doing something really hard. We're surviving this craziest time. Take your hands, tuck them under your feet. Get your toes to grab your wrists. Elbows are wide, tuck your head in between. So draw that chin to your chest again. Take two more breaths, try to straighten your legs. And then release. Deep squat, crow. Maybe you're gonna try a handstand today, maybe a headstand. It's crazy time, take our world upside down. Maybe you're just practicing your handstand hops for four. Take two more breaths. Play around, play around. And then find your way back to down dog. Press your chest towards your toes. Now bring your big toes to touch. Left leg goes straight back. Step your left leg through crescent lunge. We're going to do go into our balance. I'm going to do a few more balance postures today than we've been doing. Just trying to keep it to that hour, trying to figure out what to have as a focus. So we're going to go into balance and stability. So we're going to bring that right leg all the way up and over for eagle on your right. So I don't know about you, but in this time, without the solid foundation that we typically have. Try to feel a little bit more grounded here. So start to bend the left knee and the left ankle to get in, pull your belly button to your spine. And now you're gonna release the hands overhead, bring that right knee up and towards your chest. Shoot that right foot out so it's over, your right ankle is right underneath your right knee. And now straighten that right leg as much as you can without leaning back, reach the arms up. Slowly float it through. Airplane on this right side. Go slow. Use your breath. Keep your foundation, keep your stability. Press in, especially the midline of that left foot. Press that foot in. Now start to bend the left knee. And now straighten that left leg. Bend the left knee. Straighten that left leg. This time, bend the left knee, but reach that right leg all the way back, crescent lunge. Reach up, maybe reach back to the back of the room and hold for three. And then release. Vinyasa, back to your down dog. Step your right leg through, crescent lunge. So feel solid in this foundation. Both feet are pressing in. And to go into eagle on the left, use this right leg as your power. Try not to push too much with that left foot off the floor. Eagle, so left leg goes across, left arm is under. Hips stay forward. If your foot goes behind your calf, that's great. But don't take your foot behind your calf if it twists your body. Keep your hips facing forward. And then start to bend the right knee and the right ankle to drop in. And then you're gonna release the arms overhead, release the left leg. 
So your balance will be different on this side. Again, left ankle is right underneath your left knee. Without leaning back, straighten your left leg. See where you are on that hip flexor on that side. Reach your arms up. Slowly flow down and back for airplane. Ooh. Look forward. I'm sorry. Look down. Don't look forward. Keep that neck in alignment. Bend that right knee. Drop in and then straighten. Little power work on that right leg. Do that again. Pull your core in. Pull your core in. Now, as you do it this time, start to drop that left foot to the floor all the way back. Really solid crescent lunge. And then release. We're gonna vinyasa through. We're gonna do that again. We're gonna add in this time. So left leg will go straight back. Step it through, crescent lunge. Rise up, get solid in the crescent lunge first. And then eagle on your right side. So once you get into your posture, hold here. Connect with that breath. Use that exhale to get deeper. We're gonna release the leg and the arms, just like we did before, straighten that right leg. Airplane, once you get back into airplane, hold there. Hands to your heart, drop your left hand down, reach your right arm all the way up. So the idea, half moon, you're gonna to try to look up, I have my back to you, so you're gonna to try to look up to your right hand, open up this side of your body. So you're looking to the right side, lifting that right hip, straightening that right leg. Once you get your balance, see if you can let go of the earth. And then draw your both hands to the earth, standing split. So maybe you hop up to your handstand. You're in your house, do your thing. One more try. And then find your way back to down dog. Maybe you vinyasa through. Maybe you walk it back. Big toes to touch, left leg goes straight back. Step it through, crescent lunge. So now we're challenging the balance on that right side. Connect with your breath, eagle on your left. Find your way. So second time through, you might be a little bit more open and maybe you're able to connect that foot around. Maybe you're like me, trying to get that foot around and come out of the balance. But don't negotiate to change your form. Keep the hips square, elbows in line with the shoulders, bend that right knee and right ankle. Lift the knee up, reach the arms overhead. Same thing we did on that opposite side. Straighten your left leg. And then fly to airplane. Once you get into airplane, we're gonna hold that for a breath. And then bring your hands to heart center. Drop that right hand down. And now I'm facing you. Left arm reaches. So both legs are straight, flex that left foot. And I'm trying to look up to my left hand. Both hands to the earth, standing split. So maybe you're hopping it up again. Maybe you're just reaching your hands around your right ankle. If you get your handstand, try to look in between your hands and hold that. One more time. <laughs> and then find your way to your down dog.
Look to your hands, step or float to the front of your mat. Half lift, fold, slowly rise. Take your arms over your head, bring your hands to heart center. Take a really nice deep breath. It's a Monday morning. We're in a tough world right now. Just take a moment, see where you are. Finish this last 15 minutes of class. We're gonna take the right foot. You're either gonna put it on your right, your left calf or the inside of your left foot, or you can cross it right over top. And then start to press the knee down and back. See where your hip is. See how that feels on your knee and your quad. Adjust it if it doesn't feel right. And then everyone take your arms overhead. Use your breath. Start to look up, reach up. Hold for three. And then release. Doing the same thing on that left side. So if you're playing, keep playing. I always tell people in my class, just because we come out of it doesn't mean you can't stay. Stay if it feels right, stay if it feels good. And then again, reach up. And then I want you to think about reaching up, take your gaze up, see if you can lift your rib cage away from your abdominal muscles and hold for three. And then release. Come back to the top of your mat. Take a nice deep inhale, arms overhead. Exhale, fold forward. Take a half lift into your high plank. You can hop back, walk back, chaturanga, up dog, down dog. Step your right leg through. Warrior one. Open up to warrior two. And now you're going to straighten your right leg, triangle. Lots of variations. You can float the right hand. You can drop the right hand to your right leg. Look up to your left hand and hold for three. Come back to warrior two. And now we're gonna straighten both arms. We're gonna extend this warrior here. We're gonna reach the arms, straighten them. Stay in your front thigh and then look under your left underarm for three. Start to straighten your right leg. Reach both arms to the back of the room, but keep them straight. Straighten that right leg, look to the front of the room. Then come back to your warrior two. And then you're gonna come all the way up, straddle, reach up, fold forward. So again, here, lots of options. You could go up to a headstand, do you feel like you need a forward fold? Do that. If you pitch it till your toes towards one another and grab your big toes, press your chest back, relax your shoulders. Slowly rise up halfway, then all the way up. You're going to turn your left foot to the back of the room, but keep that left leg straight triangle. Float your left hand, drop your left hand, whatever feels right. Try to keep length on this left side, right arm reaches. Come back to warrior two. And now reach, stay in this front thigh. Let that left quadricep and hamstring turn on again. Reach both arms to the back of the room. Keep length on that left side. Look to the right. And strong in that left leg. Straighten that left leg. Look forward as you reach both hands, but keep them strong. Keep them straight. Reach them back as you look forward. And come back in to your warrior two. This time you're gonna straighten up, but this time you're gonna take your right foot 
face it to the right, left foot to the left, and get into a plie squat here. Hands to heart center and just press down, press down. Four more. So at the end, we're gonna do a little more core, but before we do that, we're gonna do some back exercises, strengthen our back. Four more, four, three, two. Now hold it all the way down and hold. And then straighten those legs. Walk your left foot forward to the front of your mat. Take a nice deep breath, inhale your arms overhead. Exhale, fold forward. Take a half lift. Ground your hands in, walk back to the high plank. Now we're gonna do this five times. Five times, and then we're gonna stay on our stomach. So see if you can come to the tips of your toes, you're in that high plank, if you need to drop to your knees, drop to your knees. You're gonna slowly lower down, slowly. Once you get down, you're gonna flatten your feet, lift your arms up, Get your low back engaged, bring the hands back into your chest, curl your toes, press up high plank. Slowly lower down, flatten your feet, lift up. But look down, you're lifting, trying to lift the sternum off the floor. Bring the hands back in, curl the toes, lift up, hold. That was two, we have three more. Go down slow, go down slow. Shoulders, core, Flatten your feet, Superman lift up. Hands come back in, curl the toes, slowly lift all the way up. Two more. Slowly lower down, flatten your feet to the floor, Superman lift. Getting the back of you, your back core muscles. Woo! One more. Slowly, flatten your feet, Superman lift. Bring it back in, high plank. Hold for four, and three, two. Slowly release it all the way down. Keep the hands to your sides. Tuck your chin towards your chest, forehead to the mat. Flatten your feet and walk your feet together. Zipper your thighs together. And now we're gonna do locusts. You're gonna slowly come up. So I'm gonna lift my torso up first and then I'm gonna to start to lift my legs off the floor. And with my exhale, breathing in and out, that exhale, I'm trying to come up a little bit higher, both the legs and the torso, but look down, look down, look down. And then release. Bring your ear to your mat. I always worry to get into that position because then it's hard to move on. Take your feet a little bit further apart, hands behind your head, your toes stay in the mat. You're gonna lift up and lower, lift up and lower. Try to lift your chest off the floor, using your back, four more, three, one more, and then release, bring your hands right underneath. Come to upward facing dog. Slowly press back, down dog. Drop your knees to the center of your mat. Swing those legs around, come to your back. We're almost done, almost done. We're gonna do two, bridge a wheel. We're gonna do core, and we're gonna stretch it out. So bring your feet a little bit closer to your glutes. Press your hips all the way up. Walk your shoulders underneath. See if you can maybe touch the heels of your feet. And then start to lift the hips higher. And then release. We're gonna do one more. Do what works for you. If you want a little bit more intensity, you can go into wheel. If you don't typically go into wheel, just stay in that bridge. Lift those hips up. And as you lift your hips up, press your chest back. For three. Four. 
and then release. Supta Baddha Konasana. Bring the soles of your feet together, knees wide. Take five deep breaths here. Press that low back to the floor. Maybe you take a hand to your abdominal muscles and one to your heart. Just relax the breath. And then bring your knees into your chest. Give it a nice little hug. Lift your shoulders off the floor. And then take your hands right here to the top of your thighs. And now push your hands into your thighs. Lift up a little bit higher and pull your knees in towards you. So have some resistance here for five. And then release, bring the knees back into the chest. We're gonna do that one more time. So you're pushing the knees in, flexing those feet, creating a little resistance between your hand and your thigh, lifting up using your core. So come back up first, flex your feet, look at your toes, and then press your hands into your thighs like you're trying to push your thighs away and you're pushing your knees in towards you. Four. And then release, bring those knees into your chest again. Circle the ankles around, both directions. And then cross at the ankles and you're just gonna crunch up and down. Little lifts up and down for eight. Four more, we're almost done. Two more, one more, and release. Release the feet to the floor. Flatten the spine, take a couple breaths. Now, if you can, lift your hips up, tuck your hands underneath your hips, or you can keep your hands to your sides. Up to you. Shoot those legs straight up, and we're gonna come all the way down. Bring the knees in, shoot those legs straight up. Good, two more. Last one, now you're gonna eliminate bringing the knees in. You're gonna go down and up eight times. So it's down and up, that's one. Flex those feet, that's two. If you wanna make it a little harder, look at your feet as you drop them down, that's three. And four. Keep those shoulders drop. Three more, you've got this, stay in it, two more. Last one. Good, go all the way down, little kicks. So if, if you are moving in yoga and focusing on your core, you use the core the whole entire practice for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and release. Release the hands, bring those thighs in towards you again. We're gonna do one folk, so come all the way up. Just one. Release the hands to the sides. And if you can roll down just a little, get that low back, just the top of your low back and your hips, your glutes to touch the earth and hold. Go down two more inches, hold. And then slowly two inches away from the floor and look up. Come back up, grab your thighs, rock one time, come to a high plank, chaturanga, up dog, down dog, step that right leg all the way back, and then step it through, half pigeon. So a lot of people do half pigeon wrong. That's why I've been tending to do it on our backs. Your right knee should be outside your right hip, your left leg is flat, and then you're gonna slowly walk the body out. And so a lot of people, when they get into postures of stretching that are challenging and hard for them, they resist them. Try to use your breath to let go.
and then slowly rise up. Curl the left toes, high plank, chaturanga, up dog. Down dog, left leg goes back, left leg's gonna step through, half pigeon. Make sure the left knee goes outside the left hip. This foot can walk forward towards you if that feels right. If it doesn't, keep that foot back towards your right hip. Use your breath to go down slowly. And again, don't resist it. When things are hard, sometimes we resist. Give in to that feeling and let go. Let the hips drop towards the floor. If you can go all the way down, that's great. Try to relax though. This time you're gonna roll onto your left hip, swing that right leg around. Both feet face forward, flex those feet. Take a nice deep breath, inhale, and then fold forward. And then nice and easy, come to your back. If you have another stretch you wanna do, go for it. Maybe you do ha happy baby, bring your, grab the soles of your feet, knees go down towards the earth. Maybe you do a simple spinal twist. So this reading is from Daring Greatly by Brene Brown. I've been talking about her to you guys. If you've been tuning into my classes for the last couple of weeks, she has the most amazing, I feel, I shouldn't say that, but in my opinion, she has amazing podcasts. Right now, especially through everything we're going through, she has a lot of uh, guests that she's interviewed that have a lot to say and I feel like helpful things for me. Check it out though. So Brene Brown is a researcher of different emotions. And in this book, she shares her definition of love, definition of love based on data she's um, taken from all of her years of research. So if you haven't found your way to Shavasana, go there now. We cultivate love when we allow our most vulnerable and powerful selves to be deeply seen and known. And when we honor the spiritual connection that grows from that offering with trust, respect, kindness, and affection. Love is not something we give or get. It is something that we nurture and grow. A connection that can only be cultivated between two people when it exists within each one of them. We can only love others as much as we love ourselves. Shame, blame, disrespect, betrayal, and the withholding of affection damages the roots from which love grows. Love can only survive these injuries if they are acknowledged, healed, and rare. For me, the most vulnerable thing from a perspective of my work is doing these live videos. But because I feel so strongly about what I do and I love the people I do it for, I quickly got over that to try to offer things to people to get them through the day. So those of you who reached out, I really appreciate it. Thank you so much. Knowing that it is helping makes this a lot easier to be vulnerable. So I don't know who's watching, who's tuning in. I hope everyone gets something from this and I'm getting a lot from you all. Thank you very much. And I maybe I'll see you tomorrow night, six o'clock boot camp. Thank you. Have a wonderful Monday.